So I'm gonna show you how to make our forest mushroom pizza with the Italian artisan stone fire pizza crust. And we're gonna start that off with our basic ingredients, garlic and shallots. I'm just gonna go ahead and give them like a nice, a nice little mince. And then <clears throat> pretty much same process with the garlic. I actually like to go with the back side of the knife. It's kind of weird, but it crushes it really, really good. We've got our garlic, we've got our shallots. We're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of olive oil. And then thyme, you know, gotta use the thyme. Just let those aromas saute and let those flavors infuse in the fat soluble oils. You get the garlic, you get the shallot. I can already smell the thyme and let's cook. So for the cremini, it's really simple. I just slice it, you can dice it, you can do whatever you wanna do. But for me, I'll just take like, you know, nice slices. You can go thick, you can go thin, doesn't really matter. Now that we've got our garlic and shallots sauteing with our thyme, we're gonna go ahead and add our creminis. So you can smell the garlic, the shallots, the mushrooms, the thyme. We're gonna go ahead and add our parsley and just kind of fold the parsley in and just let that residual heat kind of like, you know, cook the herbs a little bit. Now that we have our creminis sauteed with our garlic, our shallots, our olive oil, we've got the thyme, we've got the parsley, we're gonna go ahead, a little bit of salt, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our Italian artisan pizza crust, and we're gonna add our base layer. So we've got a ricotta. You got out of the ricotta, we got out of the ricotta. Push it all the way out, right? All the way out to the edges. And we're gonna take our, our mush, oh God, look at that. I mean, take our mushrooms and our parsley, go ahead and spread that right on top. What you can do is just take this to the next level, if you so choose, and we do a little bit of prosciutto, right? So we go ahead and just shred the prosciutto on top. We'll do a little bit of Parmesan. And at this particular point, you wanna go ahead and bake this for about five to 10 minutes at 400 degrees. All right, so now we've got our forest mushroom pizza hot out of the oven. We've got the Parmesan is melted on top, the prosciutto kind of crisped up a little bit, and then we're gonna do a little bit of a dribble drizzle, just a little balsamic right on top, and then I think a little EVO, because, you know, that's how we roll. And um, you can either cut it up and share it with your friends, or you just go ahead and devour it all to yourself because you might want to. It's that delicious.